get started, so I appreciate everybody being here. I'd also like to introduce some people that are here today. Uh, first and foremost, Sheriff Ian Parkinson is here joining us, so thank you, Sheriff, for being here. And the Board of Supervisors. So we have Supervisor Bruce Gibson. It's band there. We have Supervisor Debbie Arnold over here. We have Supervisor Jimmy Paulding. He's the tall one. I can always see him in the crowd. And Supervisor Ortiz Leg, who's not as tall. So um, also I'd like to introduce um, Kacho Asajian's family, his wife, Aroxy. His daughter, Nairi, and her husband, Armin. His son, Harach, and wife, Nina. And the stars of the show today, uh, Vera and Sophie. Nicely done. Nicely done, Sophie. Okay. And then uh, Cacho's sisters are here, Annie and Kay. Thank you for being here. And also our acting uh, CAO, John Nylon. Right there. So um, I just wanted to first thank everybody that's, that's worked on this for a long, long time. Uh, it is, it's been a very, very, you know, kind of uh, just, as you know, government takes a little while to get going. Um, but we, ha we got it going. And it's great that everybody could attend today for this culmination of what, we're, we're, what we've been calling the Cacho Asajian Government Center. I'm just going to tell you right up front, I'm going to start calling it the Cacho Building. Um, so, um, you know, there can be, it's government, so there will be an acronym. I'm sure there'll be a memo on the acronym, and then there'll be some things to come up. But I, I wanted to talk a little bit about Cacho, because for, and I've known him, I knew him a long time. Um, and, and what I always admired him in was his bright mind, but his bold spirit. He had one of the boldest spirits I've ever, ever seen. And I wanted to just tell you three things real quick that I learned from Cacho. The first and foremost, and this is a quote that I, I used when I talked to him, but they, they care what you know, but they really want to know that you care. And the constituents in the community know for a fact that Cacho cared about making their lives better every day. And that's why he went to work and worked so hard. He also taught me to be humble in victory, but gracious in defeat which is not always an easy one for politicians to understand. Um, talk less and say more. As we all know, talk, Cacho could talk, but he liked to listen. And by not talking as much as other folks, he, he said more, I think, in that, in that time period. So I do believe that if Cacho was here today, I think he would tell us to work hard, be humble, don't quit. Good things will happen if you just keep working. And to me, that's what Cacho is all about. And I, and I will tell you, and, and Vicki, um, who is very instrumental in today and worked with Cacho for a very long time, um, she, in the very beginning when I was first elected, she tried to get me to work as hard as Cacho. <laughs> and I had a heart attack. <laughs> now, I don't blame her. Okay, just so you're on the same page, but I will tell you that I don't think anybody could work as, as hard as Cacho. And we've all been at events where maybe there's been three people sitting down for coffee someplace in this county, and Cacho would roll in for 10 minutes and talk to everybody and greet everybody and listen to what was going on. And that really is the essence of the man. And so, kind of just finally, I, I thought I would say that, um, I, and this is a hope that we all should have, and I think this is kind of encapsulates where Cacho was and the things that he would hope for us. Always pray to have eyes that see the best, a heart that forgives the worst, a mind that forgets the bad, and a soul that never loses faith. To me, that sums up who Cacho was. Now I'd like to actually ask Roxy if she could come forward uh, and, and give us a few words. Good morning, honorable chairman, honorable supervisors, staff, friends, and family. 
I would like to express to everyone my family's gratitude for being here this morning and thank those who took part in making this tribute to our beloved cultural reality. Being here in front of this building is a very humbling moment for me. I would like to thank the Board of Supervisors, John Pushong, Vicky Jensen, staff for making this dedication such a meaningful and everlasting tribute. Kacho's story, how much can I share here in a couple of minutes? In about two months, it would have been our 39th anniversary. When I married Kacho in 1984, our marriage contract did not include politics as being part of his future. I married him when he was a self-employed businessman with numerous community involvements. When he shared with me that he was considering to run for the Board of Supervisors and asked for my blessings, I couldn't say no, trying to be the supportive wife, and I knew that he would give his 100% to the betterment of, of this county and later the state. Looking back at his political career and the numerous lives that he touched, the relationships that he built, and the respect that he earned from both sides of the political spectrum, I asked the question, how did he do it? The answer is simple. He did it by being authentically himself. He didn't pretend. He didn't try to impress. He didn't try to overshadow or be in the limelight. He approached his duties and his constituents with honesty, respect, open-mindedness, and most importantly, kindness. Politics did not change him. After 18 years in elected office, Kacho was the same humble, kind, and considered person towards all. For Kacho, relationships and people were very important. Even when he was back to normal civilian life, he wanted to attend every invitation that came across his desk. I reminded him a couple times that he was no longer in office. <laughs> and it was not part of his duty to attend some of those events. His answer was always the same. I like the people. I want to be there. And this is the people's building, dedicated to the people's advocate, Kacho. And for that, we thank you. This is a tremendous honor for my family. Thank you to everyone who played a part from the inception of this idea to the approval and implementation and this very moment. In Psalm 144, verse 4, it says, In Psalm 144, verse 4, it says, <laughs> Man. Psalm 144, verse 4 says, Man is like vanity and a breath. His days are a shadow that passes away. So true about life being a passage and a feeling and a fleeting transition despite all those facts. Our, my, my dad's, Cacho's legacy will be remembered here in the heart of our county <clears throat> and will live forever in the hearts of his family. Thank you all and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Cacho's daughter, Nairi to come forward. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nairi, I'm Kacha's daughter. If I can ask you to briefly raise your hand, how many of you have seen the Disney movie Coco? All right, you're a bunch of children. <laughs> so for those of you who haven't, the movie is centered around the Mexican tradition of Dia de los Muertos and the idea that after someone dies, their soul only lives on for as long as you continue to mention their name. I've always had a sadness inside of me 
that one day, many decades from now, maybe my dad's name won't be mentioned much anymore, if at all. But today changes all of that. Thanks to the efforts of many, Kacho's name and all the goodwill that it, that it entails will quite literally live on forever, with permanence, on the face of this building. I can think of no greater honor for him and no greater gift for his colleagues, friends, and family. Kacho was appointed to the Board of Supervi Supervisors in 1998. I remember when the county offices were just across the street. In fact, even now, often when I walk by, I look up at those large glass windows on the top floor. And standing from where we're standing, his was the second from the left. As kids, it felt like my brother and I practically grew up in those hallways, and later in these ones. I remember walking to the board chamber after school, only to fall asleep in the front row during his Tuesday meetings. <laughs> All this to say, when I think about my dad throughout those 12 years, Cacho is synonymous with this building. Cacho is synonymous with this community. I can only fathom the number of individuals who entered this building searching for a listening ear or guidance and, to, and departed knowing that Cacho had their back and they his word. On one hand, as sad as it is that he isn't here today, and that is why we all are, it's just as incredible to remember the sheer impact he had in his lifetime. I hope that his name on this building serves as a daily reminder to each and every person who walks by and sees it, on all sides of it, to always strive for the standard Cacho set. A standard that in all its excellence is so simple at its core. Do the right thing, care for all, judge no one, have grace for the humanness of people, and most importantly, when you've climbed up the ladder of success in your life, pause to look back down and pull your community up with you. My most heartfelt appreciation to Chairman Bishong and all of the board members and staff, past and present, who made this initiative a reality. And thank you to Vicki, the world wouldn't go around without Vicky. <laughs> this wouldn't have been possible without you. And on behalf of my entire family, thank you. I'd like to ask Harach, who is, or I should say, the, the father of uh, Vera and Sophie, to come up and uh, say a few remarks. Good morning, everyone. For those of you who I have not had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Harach, and I, was, I am Kacho's son. First and foremost, I want to thank the Board of Supervisors and, of course, Vicki, for all the work that went into preparing and making something like this a reality. And when I think back on his story, you know, this wouldn't be possible without each and every one of you. It was the community, and it was each one of you that makes up that community that provides the opportunity for somebody to serve. And it is that community that inspires somebody to serve. And so today is as much yours as it is ours, and this building is ours, as though it's, even though it's named after him today. And so with that, I hope that whoever passes by it says that's a pretty hard name to pronounce, but it <laughs> reminds them. It reminds them that even an immigrant from halfway around the world can, can make an impact on the world. And that's the beauty of not only San Luis Obispo and embracing people from anywhere that pass through our town, but the beauty of the American dream and that it is still very much alive today. And I hope that they remember that, especially in times like today when it's probably, we've got a lot looming on our minds and in the news, but it's important that the smallest impact each one of those relationships, that's what actually makes the world go around. It's the connections between each and every one of us, and it's the connections that he built and he served. And so with that, I just want to say thank you for being here today, and thank you again to the Board of Supervisors. Now, if we could, I'd like the, um, the family to come up, in, including uh, Vera and Sophie, to. Um, unveil the sign and um, if I could have the I guess the elected officials if they could come up the Board of Supervisors and then Sheriff Parkinson anybody else that I hopefully didn't miss so should we do a uh, <laughs> <laughs> should we do a one
one, two, three, and then okay. Here we go. One, two, three.